today we're going to be taking a look at the new stamp set car critters and the coordinating dies. There's also a reveal wheel add-on die that allows you to use the reveal wheel and change the images inside the car. This stamp set has the car of course and there are also three little bears to sit in the driver's seat and three little bears to sit in the passenger seat as well. There's also some fun words that you can stamp in the license plate and some fun sentiments as well. Before I start the cards in this video, I thought I would show you that there's a couple different ways that you can add these critters to the car. You can stamp them separately because there are coordinating dies to cut them out, or you can stamp them directly in the car. There's also some options for the license plate. You can stamp the words to create a license plate, but there's also some lines in this set so you can make a grill of the car if you don't want the license plate to say anything. Today I'm recreating a card by Elise and she had this great classic red car on her card. So I'm just going in with my Copic markers and I picked a kind of medium tone red. I'm going all over with that red and then I'm going to go in with a slightly darker one and add in some shading. I think it's fun to shade the hood of the car there and kind of give it some definition from the front of the car. And then I'll just blend that out with my lighter shade again. Now this car is going to be in a daytime scene, so I decided to make those headlights blue instead of yellow because they're probably not turned on. And then I'm just using some cool grays for the accents on the car. Now to color the little bears that I have, I'm just using a gray for the steering wheel and I'm just going to use some browns for these little bears. And I like to use different tones of brown for both bears so that they're not exactly the same. I like them to vary a little bit. So I'm just doing some simple shading with a slightly darker color just to define their heads and their arms just slightly. And then I will also go in with a very pale brown for the map so that it's not bright white. Now that I've got all my images colored, I'm going to use the coordinating dies to cut them out. So as you can see, the car die and the windshield die are separate. So in this case, I'm going to be cutting out the windshield. So I'm just going to line up that with the inside of that windshield and it will cut that windshield out for me. And then I can layer my bears behind it. So you can see, here's the two different ways in which you can add the critters to the car. We have the one with them stamped directly in, and then we have the one with the windshield cut out, and I can layer my die cuts of my bears right behind it. Of course, the third way is to use the reveal wheel, which we will do here in just a little bit. Now I'm using the four square portrait die, and I've cut it here from some white cardstock, and I'm just gonna use my scissors, and I'm gonna snip out the pieces inside. So I'm just gonna make a very large frame. Kind of looks like a Polaroid, it has a really cool look. Now I'm just taking a white card base here and I'm gonna use the straight edge of this stencil to create the line between the sky and the ground. And I'm just gonna do some inking directly onto the card base. I'm starting out with some tumbled glass distress ink and I'm using that right along the line. So this is kind of the horizon of our scene here. And then I'm going to go in with some broken china and do that along the top and the corners and the edges. So this is just going to define the edges of this a little bit more. Once I have that sky looking the way I want it, I'm going to remove my stencil and make sure it's clean. And then I'm going to flip that up and I'm going to use it as a mask for the sky that I just inked. So I'm just going to tape that on the back side, just as I did before. And now I'm going to work on the road and the grass. So I'm going to lay my frame that I created right on here just as a guide so that I know where the bottom of my scene is going to be. And I'm going to use a pencil to kind of mark the corners of the road. So at the bottom, I'm just gonna put two little tick marks. And then right at that horizon line up there, I'm gonna put two more, but I'm gonna make sure that they are a little further in so that our road gets smaller as it goes off into the background. Then I'm gonna use some post-it notes and I'm just going to mask it off, connecting those two dots that I made. 
I don't really have to worry about masking off the bottom because it's going to get covered up by the frame. So I just need to mask off where the grass is going to be. So now I'm going to go in with some black soot distress ink and I'm going to do the edges of my road. And then I can go in with some pumice stone and add some lighter gray to the center part and just blend those two together. Once I have my road looking the way that I want, I'm just going to remove those post-it notes and you can see that nice crisp line that I've created. So now I'm going to need to mask off the road in order to do the grass. So I'm just going to use a clean post-it note here and I'm going to do one side at a time. So I'm just going to use one. I'm going to mask off the edge of that road and now I can go in with some twisted citron and add the lighter color of my grass. Once I get all that on there, I'm going to go in with some mowed lawn and do the top edge. And then of course, once I'm done, I'll just remove that mask and I'll flip it over, masking the other side, and I'll repeat the same process on the other side. So now that I've got my scene all finished, I can remove the stencil that I was using as a mask. And you can see there's that background that looks great. Now I can add my frame and that's going to cover up all that kind of messiness at the bottom and frame that little scene up very nicely. So now I'm going to work on the sentiment part of this card and I'm going to start with the first part of the sentiment on black cardstock and I'm going to white emboss it. So I've just stamped that out with some clear embossing ink. I'm going to add some white embossing powder and then I'll just heat that up with my heat tool and melt it. Once I've got that all melted, I'm just going to use my paper trimmer to trim that off into a little strip. And then I'm just going to glue that down right on the line of this frame. So not down in the white, it's kind of crossing over, which is a really cool look. Then I'm going to finish it off with the word dad. And this is cut with Oliver's ABCs from black shimmer cardstock. And I'm going to start by adhering the A so that I have it nice and centered. I'm going to put the A first and then I'll put the D's on both sides. To help complete my little road trip scene, I'm going to be using the clouds and the trees from the Happy Village stamp set. First, I'm going to put these little bears in the car, and I've just put a little bit of liquid glue right along the bottom of each of them, and then I'm actually just going to lay the car over top and just pick those up. Now I'm going to add some foam squares to the back of this, and I'm just going to put that right on the card on the road, centered up in the middle of my scene. So now that I've got that placed, I can go in with all these other elements and complete the scene around it. So I've got some little clouds in the sky, the cloud with the sunshine. I've colored and cut out a couple of the trees that come in two different sizes, and I'm making sure that I put the tiny trees all the way at the back because they're in the background, and then the larger trees in the front. And finally, to complete this scene, there's some little birds in the Happy Village stamp set, so I'm just going to stamp those out. There's a cluster of two, so I've stamped those out, and then I've cleaned my stamp, and then I'm just going to ink up one of the birds so that I can have a single bird as well. And then this cute card from Elise is all finished. Next, I'm going to be making a reveal wheel card with this set. So I've already colored and cut out my car using the windshield cutout. And then I'm going to use the add-on piece and drop it in the square reveal wheel frame. I'm going to cut a piece of pattern paper from Hello Sunshine with the stars on it. 
and this is going to be my background base for my reveal wheel card. I've also cut two pieces there out of craft cardstock. One of these is going to be the back and then the other is going to be the ground. So I've cut that piece in half just so I can see where my car is and I can get my hill lined up where I want it. And then I'll cut this piece with this simple stitch hillside. I'm going to add in some tea dye distress ink with my blending brush here just to define the edge of this little hill and darken it up a little bit, give it some more texture. I'm going to also add some faded jeans distress ink to my pattern paper background here. And this just darkens it up a little bit, making it more a nighttime scene. So I'm going to start to assemble my front of my card a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and glue that hillside down. And then I've used these little trees from the Happy Trail set. I've just colored and die cut those out. And I'm just going to tuck those behind the hill. I'm making sure that this one doesn't overlap the hole or the reveal wheel will spin too much. And then I can go ahead and glue the car down, lining up the opening that was cut with the reveal wheel add-on with the opening that's cut in the car windshield. Now I'm going to work on my sentiment. So I've got a scripty thanks there cut from some black shimmer cardstock and it's just sitting there right now for spacing. And I'm going to stamp out the sentiment, thanks for steering me in the right direction. But I'm not going to stamp the word thanks. So you can see I stamped the last line. And then this line, I'm selectively inking this sentiment up so that the word thanks doesn't have any ink on it. Now I can glue down that scripty thanks right above this to help fill the space between the car and the sentiment below. So there are two reveal wheel templates that you can use with this reveal wheel add-on. One creates four different scenes in the windshield and one creates three. I'm gonna be using the one that creates three on this card. So you just want to line that template up with the circle that you cut from the reveal wheel die. And then I'm just gonna hold it in place with a little piece of washi tape. This template's gonna show me exactly where to stamp my little bears so that they fit in that car perfectly. So I'm actually going to start by stamping out all the bears that are driving the car. So the three different ones that are behind the steering wheel. And so I'm using all three different ones. So this card is going to use all the bears. Then I'm going to go back and stamp in the passengers. So I really love this cute little bear that is reading the map. I just think he's super fun. How often do we actually read maps these days with our cell phones? But I just think that's so fun that he has the map. And then I think these two look like they're probably singing at the top of their lungs in the car. And then these two actually, they just look way too serious but <laughs> they're they're super cute together so I added a little music note to those two that look like they're singing in the car and then I'm just going to flip that template out of the way and do some coloring and I'm just leaving the template attached because I like to use the template to help me line my circle up you don't have to do this and it's not for everybody it's just something I like to do so I'm going to go in and what I'm going to do is I'm going to color these bears in two different colors. But I want it to look like it's the same bears in every scene. So for the driver, I'm going to color him the same colors in every one. And then for the passenger, I'm going to use a different color. But this way it looks like it's a long road trip and these two bears are spending all this time together. Lots of different situations, you know, singing looking at the map for directions or, you know, just in silence or whatever these two are looking straight ahead. So now I'm going to flip that back over onto it and I'm going to start creating my reveal wheel. So I put the small brad through the small circle. Then I'm going to thread that through the back of this wheel and I'm just going to keep the template on for now. Like I said, this is just how I like to do it. You don't have to do it this way. 
And then I'm going to put some foam squares on that small circle that's on the back. You only want to put that on the small circle. So now I can take the backer pieces off those foam, flip it back over, and then because I still have my template on there, I can line my template up with the opening. I'm just going to hold it in place with my fingers and then that back piece that's cut with the same die, I can just perfectly line that square up and then it'll put this wheel right in the place where it needs to be. So now that my wheel is perfectly placed on that back panel, I can just close that brad to where my template comes off, making sure I remove that piece of tape and then I can just open it back up and my wheel is in perfect placement. I'm going to add foam squares to the corners so that it's out of the way of the wheel and this is where my front panel is going to go. But what I realized when I did this was I did not color around my bears, which looks fine white, but I had actually colored the inside edge of the windshield of the car in a very pale blue. So I decided to pull that wheel off and I'm going to go in with that pale blue and color around the bears. And I'm just making sure to color around them, but not go too far to the outside edge of the wheel. Those score lines that are there as a guide are a good guide on where to stop your coloring because if you're inside the score line, it's going to be hidden. If you go outside, you're going to see it on the wheel inside that notch. So now that I've got that fixed and I've put the wheel back on the brad, I can take off the liner paper from those foam squares and I can just line up the front and layer that over top. So now this whole mechanism is finished and you can see how these little bears spin and the scene changes in the car. So now I'm going to work on the card base and I've just cut a piece of this Hello Sunshine paper for a square card base that's four and a quarter by four and a quarter. And then I'm actually going to add foam tape to the back of this whole panel that I made. So I'm just going to pop it up even more. And then I'll just center that up on my card. And then I'm going to add the final touch of the arrow showing you to spin. And I cut this out of that same black shimmer cardstock that the Thanks is cut out of, just so it kind of ties in even better. Look at another card that I created, and this one uses the wheel with four different scenes on it instead of three. Now for a look at some design team cards. Tammy made this amazing slimline card using some palm trees to create this great beach scene. And then Grace made this amazing reveal wheel card. I just love the coloring of her background and the night scene that she created in the woods. Elise made this also amazing slimline card and used multiple cards. They look like they're at the drive-in. I think this is so fun. Here's the simple reveal wheel card I made that is sure to brighten any friend's day. And then here is Elise's card that inspired the card that I made in today's video. I love that stenciled background. And then here's another look at the other card I made in today's video using the reveal wheel. Thanks for watching. Have an amazing day. Bye.